What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be playing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth again. And this is going to be part 2 of the gameplay series. So if you're going to enjoy this, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get started. Alright, so last time we were in this beautiful field. So now we're going to keep walking until we reach our destination. I just gotta say, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Let me try playing it. I'm gonna try. I'll show you what I can do. Why don't try red? That wasn't so bad. All right, so Cloud's my favorite. But let's keep going. Wow, this game is really beautiful. I think I'm gonna make this second beautiful in my opinion because Half-Life 2 is gonna be number one. Like it's gonna stay number one for the rest of the life. Uh should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How yeah. can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local mm -hmm. wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what is it next? As I gather your No. Let's see how many gels I got. Alright, so we're close to 3,000 gels. use my summon I guess not I think it's a good idea that I use my summon in a good timing so it looks like we need to go to that village over there let's see if we could take this way Looks like there's more bad guys, so that's fine. Ha! 
gonna heal Aerith. It's time to summon. Duty calls. A hey, chocobos. I love you. I kind of want them first back. Or if that's what this name is. Wait, how do we do this? Yep, I'm gonna. Yep, I want that. That's my favorite one. Area for me. Now I'm gonna sell something. What is something I don't need? Maybe I'll just fight to earn. No, no, I'm not gonna play the game. folks it's okay I'm on your side heard you be heading my way you're safe here but not for long by the sound of it Shinra's leaving no stone unturned might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there okay so now let's this go to our actual destination for the animals it's a bed. favorite group of hitchhikers oh fancy meeting you here thanks again for the right to call me. Uh, don't mention it it's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies but I do believe I neglected to introduce myself the name's Bill and you can count on me for a lift anytime except today that is afraid the old buttes pulled up lame sorry about that no biggie we're enjoying the fresh air Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. 
I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Alright, so let's say we're gonna go to an abandoned dock. Because it literally says in the top. Let's start fighting. So the weakness is ice and fire. Oh, for me, nice. Abandoned dog. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. Um, and that this pool? swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. Yeah, so we but even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> Well, sure. Can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. Yeah. 
Okay, good, good. Yeah, sure. No, that's not rest yet. Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Hmm. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Of course. Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamplands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Hmm, that's why I know. Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Hmm. Thanks a lot, Bill. Sorry, that was just a fly. Howdy! Howdy, so neighbor. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. What? <sighs> the thing is, 
We don't have that kind of money. Ah! <laughs> no! Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Don't say what I think you're gonna say. Only cost you a grant. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but oh. still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Oh, yeah, thank God. Why not? Name's Pico. I, the I thought I was going to say something else. Ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. No, and that's going to take a lot of tries for me. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. First, before we go there, I saw this. So let's see. Ah, it looks like something for Aerith. Alright, so let's. Sorry, Barrett, but I wanted more than you. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Oh. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So Ooh. be sure to hand them over if you do. Chocobo gear? I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Pico, where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some cats. Okay, now where are we gonna find Pico? So it's kind of like what Tifa said. We should start looking for tracks. So let's look, in the, let's look at the ground because it's a chocobo and their feet can be strong. So. I mean, like, it's a chocobos and the grass are not like that strong enough, so we have to find it easily.
Steel materia? <laughs> Follow the chocobos track. Okay. Oh. Okay. So if I was a chocobos named Pico, where would Pico. I be? Yeah! Come on y'all, let's go bag us a chocobo. Oh, there's Pico. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Boy! Yeah. Okay, okay. Wait for him to look behind him. What am I supposed to? Good bird. What am I supposed to press? Oh! I just got Pico. Oh, cute. Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> well, that's what I said. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Hey, Pico! Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. 
Wow, that chocobos is fast. God, I forgot this theme song. The last time I heard this theme song was when I was watching a trailer of Cloud in the Super Smash Brothers. Na 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 I forgot this song. But although it does sound good. Hello. Ah, oh, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough yep. to ride. Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Hey, Cloud! Hi! Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, I mean, I know you, but I don't know your name. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's yep. the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Sounds nice. We find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? Yeah. That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Game. Here we are. Hmm. Wow. That's just pretty. Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. Mm -hmm. I call it World Intel. World Intel. Nice. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, 
I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before okay. that, is there anything you would like to ask? I think I'll start. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? I have fire and ice materia. Uh. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. I right, thank you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Nice, let's go back. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. No problem. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Wait, hold on. Let me check here real quick. We're a one stop shop for all your Chocobo needs. If you ever want to change your Chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Hmm. I love this game. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. Ooh. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay. Oh. Hey, Pico. This way. Oh, wrong way. Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Right, sure. Wait, where? Oh, there. Nice. Not terrible, but hey, now that you got the basics, it's just a matter of practice. 
We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. Mm. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Okay, so we just got ourselves a new quest. Choco? I mean Choco... Pico, Pico. This is the best part of the game. Over there. Sephiroth! It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. Looks like I got something for you, Barrett. Later. I don't see Sephiroth. Do you? No, I don't. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. What the? 
Wait, is that a giant alligator? What's the thing? Hey, get back here right now! <laughs> Nope. A giant snake. It disguised itself as an island. Gee, I had noticed. Focus. Allow me. Okay, so it looks like his weakness is. I'm coming. One more shot. Get him. already pissed off enough. Not looking good. Be powerful. Any last words? This great. Damn it. Alright okay guys, so I paused this video just so I could change some features. First, let me get Pico. Over there. Uh -huh. It 
Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. Just get Barret his, his weapon. No, I don't. Now all level 17. First, let me just check something. I'm actually gonna upgrade my weapon. Hmm. Maybe later, but now. I think I'll do. I kind of forgot what I was supposed to do, so maybe later. already pissed off enough. Okay, good, good. Get back! Oh, 
too. Not good. Everyone, keep your distance. later. <laughs> hey guys. Is it gone? So uh, no. Let's see this cutscene first. After trying to defeat it, I end up uh, pausing the video so I can defeat it myself. Let's see this. Sephiroth? Yep, Sephiroth. Thanks to feed it. you back cloud yep it is good to have you back <clears throat> Sephiroth I knew he was strong but still those guys are looking for him too they've got to be yeah I kind of get that feeling as well Let's not lose her. Okay, so we need to we need to heal. Where's somewhere where I can Where's a bench? Oh, 
chapter 3. Deeper into darkness. So I completed chapter 2. He's here, isn't he? I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Yep. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh, forget it. You guys need to focus. Yeah, let's focus. Wasn't all that long ago Am I might end this video this soon, but first, let's just find somewhere where we can heal. Mithril, right? Where all of us can heal, Not like a bench. Specific. No. It's pretty tough. And beautiful I'm just gonna stay besides. here for probably about right 40 or 30 counts. minutes. But what you might I think, I mean, 30 or 40 minutes. But I kind of want to make this video two hours, so... These caves, in fact. And all let's enough. just at least see. I mind myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Mm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Oh, Even fun, got that signature bench. mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. Mm hmm. Let's heal up. We can do. All right. I don't know. We shouldn't just leave him. Know what? I'll go check. Okay. I'll come too. Nah, you stay. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. Okay, if you're sure. Sorry to... I mean... Thank you. Mm. Looks like Cloud is stuck with the girls again. Mm. You keep track of the other robes now, you hear? Of course. Careful down there! his weaknesses. Time to burn. Go on. Yep. <laughs>
<laughs> Congratulations, baby. You got yourself a new glove. wish I can continue but I'm actually very tired right now so I think I'm gonna end the video right here thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you guys in part three bye bye